Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to join data in CSV files using DuckDB. We're going to be using Jeff Sackman's awesome tennis data set, which has matches, players, and rankings all available as CSV files. So we'll get that downloaded locally, and then we're going to be querying it using the DuckDB CLI. And we'll start by creating a table called players based on the ATP players CSV file. And once we've done that, we're going to write just a quick query to check that what type of data we've got. And so you can see there, we've got a few players. We can see their first name, their last name, and their player ID as well. Now we're going to do the same for the rankings. So we're going to create a table called rankings on top of the ATP underscore rankings. And then there are lots of different rankings files. So we're going to capture all of them with the star glob. And once we've done that, let's just have a quick check what we've got. So you can see we've got a ranking date, we've got a ranking, and we've got a player, and the player is an ID. And so that we're going to be able to connect that back with our players table that we created earlier. And then we've got the number of points as well. And now we're going to use a query that I created earlier to find out the list of all the people who have been number one. And we're going to capture the first date when they were number one, and then we're going to capture the last date when they were number one. And so what we're doing in the middle, you can see we're doing a join between the players table and the rankings table. And what's kind of interesting to me is that we didn't ever create any foreign keys or any primary keys or anything like that. We can just do it sort of on the fly as you were. Uh, and if we run that query, we can see our most recent number one, Carlos Alcaraz. We've got uh, Daniel Medvedev as well. And then the, the last one before that was uh, Andy Murray uh, back in 2016. And, and the data is not completely up to date. So actually Alcaraz is still the number one today. Uh, so it's a little bit behind. Okay, so now we're going to look at the matches. And before we create the table, we're just going to have a look at the columns that are available in these files. And notice that we're not looking at all the matches because there are some ones that we're not interested in. So for example, doubles matches. And so we're using the glob that finds just ones which end or that have ATP underscore matches, underscore, then a number, and then star.csv. And so if we scroll through, there are loads of columns in here. There are, uh, and most of them we're not that interested in. The main things we're interested in are the winner ID, the loser ID, so that we can connect it back to our players table. And then I guess the score and the surface and a couple of other fields are probably useful as well. And so we're going to create a table called matches based on a, a subset of the data this time, rather than doing select star, we're just going to pick a few of the, the columns, but we could, we could obviously cr uh, cr create a table with all of them if we wanted to, but in this case, we'll just pick a few. And then let's just quickly check, do we get some matches uh, by writing a select command? And yes, we do. Uh, and now we're going to cheat again. We're going to use some queries that I wrote earlier. And they're based on the two of the goats of men's tennis, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. And so we're going to start by looking at matches between these two players before uh, Federer retired about a month ago. And so we can write this query. And this time we're doing a join between the matches and the players table. And we're doing it twice, right? So we're doing find the winner, information about the, or the, the query the players table for the winner and then do it for the loser as well. And then we're doing uh, a where clause to make sure that it's only matches between Federer and Nadal. And if we look at the results, we can see that actually Federer, before he retired, Federer was winning uh, a lot of their matches. Um, but if we look at, we could also have a look at who won the most times. So we can slightly tweak the query and this time doing an aggregation query to see who won the most matches in the who won the most times when they played each other. And this time Nadal wins, right? So he's won 24 times to Federer's 17. Uh, what about if we look at the surfaces? So we'll just add the surface to the query at the top and then we'll group by the surface as well. And we can see here, obviously on clay, Rafael Nadal, absolutely dominant. And Federer slightly has the edge on hard courts. And they didn't actually play that often on grass, which is sort of interesting. I guess it was only at Wimbledon when they met. And so that's the end of this video in which we've learned how we can take CSV files and do joins across the columns in those files using DuckDB. Uh, if you found the video useful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you'll learn when I produce new videos. Uh, if you have any questions or ideas for new things that I should cover, please let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.